Welcome to the Solid Game University channel. This video's topic is the slot operation. So the slot operation is a specialized toolpath operation simply for slots, like we see on my part right here. And it has a similar workflow to the profile operation. So let's get into it and we'll take a look at how that works. So add milling operation, slot. We start with by choosing the geometry. So new geometry. And the geometry selection window is similar to the profile. I'm just going to grab my edge here. I'll do a constant Z. And there we go. So let's go to tool. And I'm going to choose a tool. This is a half inch wide slot. I'm going to choose a half inch end mill. But you can choose a smaller diameter end mill. All it's going to do is just going to go around the edges rather than just down the center line like I'm getting it to do here. Let's go to profiles. Under, sorry, under levels, we're just choosing the upper level here. We actually control the depth in technology. Technology, you're gonna see the main parameters here, and you can see it's kind of a bare bones version of the profile. It's mainly, again, for slotting. So tool side, we've set it to left. We have a geometry button here to modify it a little further, similar to what we would have in profiles. You can change the extensions, you can start change the start point, you can modify the offset, so it's an overcutting, undercutting scenario. Depth cutting type, we have one way and zigzag. Slot extension, if you wanted to extend the slot geometry, you have that ability there. Profile offset is almost like a wall offset. How much material you want to leave on the walls on the floor. But here we have the slot levels. So this is where you're going to control how deep it goes into the part. So I'm going to click on depth. I'll choose the bottom of that slot. Step down is our depth of cut. I'm going to put 100 thou just to see lots of passes here. And delta, delta depth is similar to what you would see in other toolpaths. This is simply an incremental value from whatever I've set as my depth. In this case, I'll just leave it as is. You notice that there is no link section. Again, this is a slot operation. So we want to go right down the center. We don't want to actually um, lead in or out that we might collide with the sidewalls. So we're just going to leave this as is. Save and calculate. And you can see we've got a toolpath that is slotting that we'll pass there. Let's just get a perpendicular view of that. And there it is, comes in, back and forth. Easy. Now, what if you had a slot that does not have a uniform depth, that has an irregular bottom such as that? You can see there I've got some, some steps in there, a little bit of a taper. So the slotting operation actually allows you to account for that. And it does that using section geometry. It's a, it's a parameter, it's an it's a option that you would have seen in the translated surface toolpath in one of our previous videos. Let's see how I did that toolpath. Instead of technology constant, we're using sections. It's actually going to call out the section geometry. The geometry itself for the slot is still that upper edge, as you see there. Tool, I'm still using the half inch tool and my levels is still the upper level. In the technology section, I'm still doing tool side left. I have my profile offset. I have a roughing cycle now, so I have a floor offset as well. So all of that is pretty similar to, again, the profile operation. Where this is different is now where you see the section geometry. Let me show you my section geometries. I've actually taken a sketch that I did on the bottom floor of that slot. I took that kind of an intersection curve with the mid plane. And I've made a copy of it and put it on the XY plane of my part. That's because this is still a 2.5D toolpath. So we have to work within the 2.5D frame of this toolpath. So I copy and pasted it. I made this point of that chain coincident with the actual center of the part. Uh, you actually end up choosing a reference point so that it knows the height from that chain. So a lot of this is referential. It's looking at the chain on this XY plane, but it's actually going to lay that down as a depth in the slot. And because I chose that reference point, it knows the depth from that chain. So all of that amounts to a toolpath that'll look like this. And essentially, it's still a slotting operation. It goes back and forth. And at certain depths, it's now, it now starts to read my, my chain. And it's going to do 
the taper, it's going to do the different depths. So this is an ability of the slot operation to account for the fact that not all slots are going to be uniform. You're going to maybe have a little bit of a contour on the bottom there that you can follow. Any questions on this or anything else from SolidCam, just give us a call at 1-866-975-1115, extension 2. You can send us your parts or your questions via the ticket system at SolidCamSupport.com. And stay tuned for the rest of the videos on this YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.